All right, now this time around, the iOS 18 borrowed too many features from Android, which includes T9 dialer, gaming mode, hide and lock application feature, icon customizations, an all new power button on the control center or quick panel, adding widgets by pressing and holding on an app icon, multiple pages on control center, lock screen toggles, calculator history, scheduling text, and all new app settings menu on the settings, call recorder, video seek bar at the bottom, audio transcript, call transcript, calendar reminder integration, text reactions, search suggestions on settings, and many more. These features were already there on Android phones, especially on Samsung Galaxy phones. These were not something new for the Galaxy phone users. Now, despite getting all these new features on iOS 18, Samsung Galaxy phones One UI can still crush the iPhones even before the One UI 7's arrival. First, there is no back gestures yet on the iPhones, even on the iOS 18. We will still have to reach out to the left side edge of the screen to go back and there is no consistency in back gesture for the iPhones. But on Galaxy phones, we can use the navigation gestures from both sides of the screen to go back to the previous page or to exit the application. We got something called One Hand Operation Plus application, which enables us to set different functions or different actions for swipe gestures in different directions on both edges of the screen. Next, there is no clipboard on iOS yet. Whereas on the Galaxy phones, you can tap on on this clipboard icon here to access all the recently copied items and this is a fantastic feature which we have got on Samsung Galaxy phones or any other Android phones and there is no clipboard available on the iPhones next there is no multitasking possible on the iOS 18 whereas on Samsung Galaxy phones we can open two applications simultaneously as you can see I will open Samsung gallery application and now let's say I want to open another application at the same time I can swipe up from the bottom of the screen using two fingers and open another app application in a split screen view. Now, apart from this, we can also open an application in a pop-up view. I just go to the recent application, tap on the app icon here, and then tap on open in pop-up view. You see, I've got an application open in pop-up view, and I can open multiple applications like this in pop-up view for multitasking. Next, on iOS 18, we still do not have the guest mode or second user option or a secure folder. Whereas on the Android phones, we have all these options. On Samsung Galaxy phones specifically, we have got something called Secure Folder in which we can clone different application and log into a different account. And also we can move the files, images or videos to the Secure Folder so that it doesn't show up on the main folder on the home screen. Next, there is no real gaming mode available on the iOS 18 yet. It's a basic gaming mode we have got. Whenever we play a game, it optimizes the gaming experience. We can either turn it on or turn it off, which can be accessed on the dynamic island, whereas on the Samsung Galaxy phones, we have got a real gaming mode with multiple different options. You see, we have got an application called a Gaming Hub in which we can tap on this three dot button and tap on Game Booster settings, but we've got multiple different options. We've got block during game. We can block the notifications, navigation gestures, Bixby, Edge Panel. Then we've got auto touch protection option, save power during touch protection, shortcut bar. We can have a shortcut bar while playing games. And then we've got screenshot resolution we can take screenshot while playing uh, in different resolutions then we've got screenshot format and most importantly we've got game optimization options we've got performance mode standard mode and battery saver mode we can select performance mode if you want the best of the performance while playing game and if you want to still save some battery while playing game you can select standard or battery saver now these options are not available on the ios 18's gaming mode next we did get some customization options like icon customization moving the icons on the home screen icon theming etc on the ios 18 but on samsung galaxy phones we do have more powerful customization for the icons as well as the system-wide theme options are available on the samsung galaxy phones we have got a theme store itself using which we can make our uh, galaxy phones look beautiful every day and it will be really refreshing when you set a different theme on the galaxy phones and apart from setting these preset themes we can also customize each and every aspects of the phone using a module on good lock called theme park you can see I've got good lock application here inside which we have got a module called a theme park engine using which we can customize the entire phone's theme like you can see here we can customize the lock screen home screen keyboard notification panel messaging background and a few other options and apart from that we can also press and hold on the home screen to go to wallpaper and style and we can choose the color palette options right here by enabling this we will be able to see some color combinations here for the theming and these are based on the wallpaper that we have set. 
And once we apply it, the theme looks beautiful on the Galaxy phones. This is the basic one. And then we have got the theme park engine. And we also have a theme store to customize the Galaxy phones. That is quite powerful indeed. Next, there is no restart option on iOS 18 yet. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy phones, you can go to the quick panel and tap on this power button to access the power off menu, wherein we have got an option to restart the phone as well. Whereas on iOS, we can't really restart the phone. Once we access the menu, we can turn off the phone and then we have to turn on the phone by pressing the side keys, which is a bit annoying. We are in 2024. I think we should have restart button on the iOS. Next, when I go to the settings on the Samsung Galaxy phones and tap on notification settings and app notifications, we can enable or disable the notifications for a particular application, which is also there on the iOS 18. However, we cannot choose the specific notifications from a particular application. For example, let me just open a YouTube option here. You see, I have allowed the notifications. And then when I scroll down, we have got something called notification categories. Now here, I can specifically enable or disable the notification category for YouTube application. Let's say I don't want live stream notifications, I can disable it. And let's say I don't want comments and replies for any of the videos, then I can disable it. So we can specifically choose the items for the notifications for a particular particular application so we can't really customize this on iOS but it is possible on Samsung Galaxy phones or any Android phone. Next we have got partial screen recording on the Android 15 which may also arrive on the Samsung Galaxy phones and this partial screen recording feature is not available on the iOS 18. When we record the screen the entire screen will be captured. It will capture the notifications that you're receiving. It will capture anything else that you're doing while recording the screen on the phone everything will be captured. Whereas now on the Android phones, we are getting something called partial recording, which will record only a particular application. Whenever you exit that app, it is not going to capture the screen. If you receive a notification, it will not capture the notification. So it will be very private. You will only be recording the uh, application screen, which is a fantastic privacy feature. Next, there is no maintenance or repair mode on the iOS. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy phones, I can tap on settings and go to device care. Here we've got an option called maintenance mode. You can see the maintenance mode will protect your privacy while someone else is using your phone, such as when you are sending it for repair. So this is a very important privacy feature which is currently available on Samsung Galaxy phones. If at all you're handing over the phone to somebody else, especially for repairs, you can enable maintenance mode so that only pre-installed applications are available to use. Personal data including pictures, messages and accounts can't be accessed and downloaded applications are hidden. So you will need to unlock your phone to turn off maintenance mode, which is a fantastic feature not available on the iOS. Next, there is no option to clear the cache of the applications yet on the iOS, whereas on the Samsung Galaxy phones or Android phones, we do have clear cache option. Next, on iOS 18, we do have screen mirroring option. You will be able to connect the phone screen to the uh, Mac and then operate the phone on the bigger screen, which is a cool feature on iOS 18. However, it is limited to the phone screen. Whereas on Samsung Galaxy phones, we have got a fantastic feature called Samsung Dex, which converts the mobile operating system into a desktop experience. We will be able to connect Samsung DeX wirelessly or with a cable and convert the phone's OS into a PC-like experience. That's a fantastic feature which is currently on the Samsung Galaxy phones and not available on the iOS. Next, we still don't have custom fonts on the iOS which is available on the Samsung Galaxy phones. We have got separate ring and notification volumes on the Samsung Galaxy phones. We can clone applications on Galaxy phones. We have got auto brightness toggle right here on the quick panel. We do have third party launchers on Samsung Galaxy phones or any Android phones, which is not possible on the iOS devices. Now, these are some amazing advanced features available on a Samsung Galaxy phones One UI, which can completely crush the iOS 18. Of course, the iOS 18 got some amazing features which were borrowed from Android, but I would still feel these features are not really good enough. These are all pretty old features which have been there on Android phones, and there will be a lot of work for the Apple to do in the future to come up with some revolutionary features like the Android or the Samsung Galaxy phones did. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about this. Drop a comment. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description and download it. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. So you can go ahead and check out all my previous videos as well. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.